using the Choose Your Fictional Life book tag. This was created by A Reader's World. We'll link to her channel in the under bar. And of course I have with me my cousin Josh Booklover. Link to his channel by clicking on his beautiful face. Very beauteous. Now let's get started. Question number one. What is your species? Can I say anything other than wizard? I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think more creatively. <laughs> You can't. I would definitely be a witch. I'm not sure exactly what kind of witch, like a Harry Potter witch, or a Terry Pratchett witch, or a Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell witch, but I would definitely be some sort of magic user. I would really like to be a metamorph magus. You're moving to your new house. What fictional world would you want to live in? I would live in the Shire. It's just so beautiful and chill. I'm not sure how well a witch would fit in there, but... <laughs> I like the Shire. I want to say something other than the Harry Potter world, but I can't. I don't know. Camp Half-Blood would be cool. Maybe I could go to Hogwarts for the school year and then Camp Half-Blood for the summer. Who needs parents? The first night you hear screaming from the house next to you. Who is a character that annoys you all the time? Kale Westfall from the Throne of Glass series, because he is a freaking annoying little... <laughs> Selena, just end up with Dorian, okay? I should have read through these questions first. I can't think of anything. Who do I find annoying? Um. Um. Oh, Ophelia from Shakespeare's Hamlet. Just hate her. The next day you hear a knock at the door and it's your neighbor from across the street giving you a box of cookies. Who is a friendly character? That is an excellent question. <laughs> I suck at this. Um. I think I'm gonna go with Joe from Five Weeks in a Balloon by Jules Verne because he's just such a sweetheart and he's just so chill and nice and I can kind of see him showing up with a box of cookies. I just love Joe. <sighs> I go from Cinder. She's an android, not actually human, but she has the best personality chip ever. She would probably bring me a box of cookies because she's the best. It is your first day of school. Which two characters instantly become your best friends? Ron Weasley and Ico. Surprise, surprise. They are my favorite people to ever be people. I love Calcifer. Probably Sophie from this book. And Addie from The Two Princesses of Bamar. I think I would really get along with her. We're not a lot alike, but like in a good way. Cutest couple of the school. Who is your OTP or favorite couple? I have so many OTPs and none of them are high school students or even college students. But I'm just a real sucker for Lord Marshmorton and Billy Dore from A Damsel in Distress by P.G. Woodhouse. I actually wrote a fan fiction for them. Things I shouldn't admit. Hashtag. That's what that was. <laughs> Ramione or Ron and Hermione is like my first OTP. And Dorian and Selena, because Selena, what are you doing with Kale? Get your mind in the game. Get your head in the game. Okay? Get your head in the game. Stop it. You started it! <laughs> you accidentally bump into a girl, or a boy, who you started to have a crush on, who you later start to date. Who is your fictional girlfriend or boyfriend? Um, Ginny Weasley? Or Selena Sardathion? Because they are bae. Whatever, whichever one's, like, not dating anyone at the time, because Ginny, like, tends to date a lot. So... Probably Selena, but then we might break up, and then Ginny. And then Selena. <laughs> <laughs> and then Ginny. You're kind of a player, aren't you? <laughs> Only with those two people. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, I'm not really into any characters who are my age. <laughs> what does my face smell like? I have to go with Doom from Del Toro Quest. As previously mentioned, he is super sexy. You walk across to hear music from the band room. Who is a character who plays an instrument? I just went to like six of my characters. <laughs> I don't think that counts. Uh, no. Um... <laughs> Marianne from Sense and Sensibility. I think Rosemary from The Giver plays an instrument, because I feel like he gives her the memory of, like, the piano. I feel like she plays the piano. It's gym class, who was an athletic character. Harry! He's, you know, a Quidditch star. Kale Westfall! I hate him, but he's kind of the captain of the guard, so he has to be athletic. You are about to raise your hand to answer a question, but someone beats you to it. Who is a smart character? Hermione Granger. You took mine. <laughs> Don't there's no one smart? 
Besides her. She is the only smart character. Mr. Norrell from Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell. He is a scholarly magician. Sadly, you sit down in a class with your least favorite teacher. Who is your least favorite adult character? Are you speaking parcel <laughs> Yes. <laughs> um, somebody I would hate to have as a teacher would be Umbridge. Oh, true that, honey. That goes without explanation. Don't call me honey. I don't know if you actually understood any of that, so I'm just gonna say it slower this time. Queen Lavana from the Lunar Chronicles because she's a freaking idiot. You walk across the principal's office and notice that someone is sitting awaiting their suspension. Who is a troublemaking character? And um, Percy Jackson. He gets expelled from every single school that he's been in at the end of the year. I'd say Alcatraz from the Alcatraz vs. the Evil Librarians book by Brandon Sanderson because he has a talent for breaking things and that tends to get him into trouble. A couple in your next class keeps kissing, talking, and annoying the heck out of you while you do your work. Who is your least favorite couple or your non-OTP? It doesn't help to have the Harry Potter posters staring at me, like, this is not making it easier to think of other books. I have lots of Harry Potter posters. I think I have more than ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Can you get that one on that Fifteen. Yeah, I have all those. Sixteen. Anyways, that was not actually helpful. Um, least favorite couple. Who's your non-OTP girl? Mm. Uh. No. Oh, I can think of one, but I can't remember their names. That's helpful. Okay, look up The Hourglass Door by Lisa Mangum. Abby and Dante from The Hourglass Door by Lisa Mangum, because this book was almost awesome, and then it was all about the really obnoxious ship, and I stopped liking Abby really fast because all she could think about was how hot Dante was. <sighs> Kale and Selena from the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Mass because they do not deserve to end up together. Selena deserves someone much better than Kale. Kale is a freaking idiot. He makes so many mistakes in Era Fire and needs to die. I'm really hoping he does, actually. The class clown makes a joke and the whole class, including you, laughs. Who is a funny character? Ron Weasley. I can think of multiple times when I think the class laughs <laughs> at him saying something funny. Or at least Harry laughs because... Ron's hilarious? <laughs> yes. Um... Who's funny? Jack from the Half Upon a Time series. He's just kind of sarcastic and snarky and he makes me laugh. Finally, you get home and you have to go to work. What is your job? I would want to be a potioner because brewing potions would be awesome. I'd be fine if I was offered any job at Hogwarts or a Camp Half-Blood instructor. You want to be a teacher? Yeah. Of coolness. Yeah. Or maybe a Donald's instructor, that'd be cool, except for I'd probably die. That's it for our fictional life book tag. I am tagging Reading with Jack, Quinny and Company, even though she never does my tags, and Book Hearts Books. Also, if you would like to do this tag, please do and let me know that you did it, because I would love to see it. Anyway, that's it for us. Thanks for watching and happy reading. Bye!